For the 2019 International Human Rights Day, over 100 people gathered in Dam Square in Amsterdam to protest the CCP's human rights violations and demand that it immediately release prisoners of conscience and innocent civilians. They also called on the international community to rise up together and sanction the despotic regime. At 4 p.m. local time, over 100 people including members of the International Campaign for Tibet, ICT, Europe, Amnesty International in the Netherlands, and the Association for Defense of Human Rights and Religious Freedom joined by Tibetans, Uyghurs, Hong Kongers, and CAG, the Church of Almighty God, Christians, gathered before the podium at the rally site in a very orderly manner, while photos and profiles of persecuted groups and prisoners of conscience were projected on a loop onto a very large screen on the square. While hosting the rally, Siring Jampa, executive director of ICT Europe in Amsterdam, which launched the event, mentioned that millions of political prisoners are being detained in China and called for an end to the CCP dictatorship's ongoing violations of human rights. It could be them today languishing in Chinese prison. It could be us tomorrow if we are not vigilant, if we are not alert to stop to stop the dictators like President Xi Jinping. And we have many, many of those dictators all over the world. We are here to say today, we must stop this dictatorial regime. During the event, a number of members of persecuted groups spoke in turn, recounting fact after fact of the CCP's persecution and expressing their own faith and ideology. A CAG Christian said that since the church was established, the CCP has performed over a million arrests of CAG Christians, and at least 124 were persecuted to death. The vast majority of the arrested Christians were subjected to cruel tortures and deprivation of basic human rights and treated as political criminals. In 2019, over 700 CAG Christians have been sentenced solely for practicing their faith. Some were even sentenced to over 10 years in prison. In her speech, she called on the international community to sanction the violators of human rights and urge the CCP to release the prisoners of conscience. Stain Deklerk, senior officer of human rights programs, China, at Amnesty International Netherlands, said in his speech that the CCP has widely persecuted ethnic minorities in areas such as Tibet and Xinjiang, Christians, Falun Gong practitioners, Hong Kongers, and others. It does not just curb freedom of assembly and freedom of speech, but has also established enormous censorship and surveillance systems. Nearly every day, a new report is released or internal documents from the Chinese government or CCP are leaked, all of which clearly show China's egregious human rights violations. He called on governments across the world to always place human rights at the center of any dialogue with the Chinese government. It is crucial that we stand up with a strong voice to preserve and strengthen our current system of human rights norms and mechanisms. A representative of the Association for Defense of Human Rights and Religious Freedom said in her speech that the facts prove that the CCP is an inhuman, evil political party. As long as it exists, it will not stop its massacres and persecution. The CCP is not only a disaster for the Chinese people, but is the greatest threat to free, democratic countries across the world. She called on more people, human rights organizations, and governments to take responsibility for protecting human rights. Chinese human rights activist and representative of Human Rights Watch in China, HRWIC, Yang Tao Ma, stated clearly in his speech, If you want your human rights, you must Overthrow Chinese Communist Party.
中国的人权状况只能越来越恶化。A choir song by the Church of Almighty God, the Kingdom, was played at the event. Its rousing melody and invigorating lyrics resounded in every direction. The bustling square suddenly became quiet, and passersby stopped to watch. Amidst the biting wind, Christians sang along as their tears flowed. Photos of Christians who have been persecuted to death and who are currently imprisoned silently condemned the CCP's brutal persecution. Some Christians told our reporter that this hymn comes from the heart of every single Christian who has endured the CCP's persecution, and it inspired them to endure through their years of hardship in mainland China. On such an occasion, they wanted to use that hymn to express that no matter how brutal the CCP's persecution. God is leading, and they will never fold or retreat. They also believe that God will certainly destroy that evil party that resists God and persecutes people, and He will bring true freedom and a beautiful life to humanity. On December 10, 1948, the United Nations passed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, with China as a signatory. But to this day, China has still failed to implement a single article. On the contrary. It has trampled upon and violated human rights more and more wantonly. The CCP's crimes are multitude. The Chinese people cannot forget, and the international community cannot stand idly by. Since November 2019, the United States has passed acts to protect human rights in Hong Kong and Xinjiang. The Netherlands is on the cusp of implementing its own version of the Magnitsky Act. And the European Union has also initiated a legislative process to sanction human rights violators. This has heralded a new beginning for the world, taking an active stand against the CCP's tyranny. Reported by Eastern Light correspondent Xu Yang in Amsterdam, the Netherlands.